Hi, and welcome to MSA TV. My name is Eric Buzzard, and I'm the North American Product Sales Manager for Thermal Imaging. I'm here to talk to you about our current product line of thermal imaging cameras. Let's talk about the different models we have here. I have four models on the, on the table here. The first one I'm going to tell you, tell you about is the Evolution 5600. You can tell it's the 5600 because it has the gray housing on top. This is kind of a price point product. This is the one that you want to get if you're really sensitive to the budget and you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of performance to get that budget point, this is the camera that you want. Now, if you notice on its display, it is a three inch by three inch image that you're going to get on this display. So you kind of have a couple black lines cropping the sides of that. You don't sacrifice much field of view for it and you still get good quality image in both high sense and low sense mode. The Evolution 5200, it's kind of a step up from the Evolution 5600. Where this has a focal plane of 120 by 120, that means the pixel count is 120 left and right by 120 up and down. The Evolution 5200 has a pixel count of 160 left and right by 120 up and down. So you go from about 15,000 pixels to about 20,000 pixels. Your image quality increases. The Evolution 5200 also has the widest field of view. This guy's at 41 degrees, this one's at about 55 degrees. So you have a wider field of view. This is kind of a midpoint price camera and gives you the best, most efficient sweep of a room. Let's say you're, you're, you're sweeping a, a bedroom in a structure fire. Because of the wide field of view, you're going to get a more efficient sweep of that room with this camera. Next step up from that is the Evolution 5200 HD. Whereas the 5200 had a 160 by 120 focal plane array, this guy has a 320 by 240 focal plane. So you, go, you basically went from about 20,000 pixels to about 80,000 pixels. So image quality is a huge jump from the 5200 to the 5200 HD. One of the trade-offs, though, is the field of view goes from a wide 55 degrees to about a 37 degree field of view. So the trade-off there is you pick up image quality, but you lose a little bit of field of view. Now, something else we introduced into the 5200 HD TIC is an optional 2x zoom. This is something for a lot of search and rescues or hazmat applications where, let's say you're not completely, you're not on the scene, maybe you're back away from the scene at several hundred feet, you activate the 2x zoom, you're going to bring that image a lot, you're going to bring the image closer, you're going to make it bigger, it's going to be a lot easier to find your victims or see the source of the, of the leak of that hazardous material. The last model I want to show you is the Evolution 5800 thermal imaging camera. This is the newest one. We launched it in December of 2008. And you can tell this is the 5800 by the green housing that it has. Now, it has all of the specifications that you found in the 5200 HD. It's got the optional 2x zoom. It's a 320 by 240 focal plane. But there's a button on the underside that allows you to select different color palettes. It has five programmed color palettes in there. Now, you'll notice on this camera, big green button turns you on. Big green button turns you on. Same way to turn on and off the camera with all these models. That button will also be your 2x zoom if you have the 2x zoom capability. And then on the 5800 for the user, user selectable color palette, you've got the button on the underside of the housing. Now its location, unlike some of the other cameras that are out there, it's right underneath your pointer finger. So as you're using the camera, simple movements of your finger upward, you're going to be able to activate those color palettes. Those color palettes are really going to help with your, if you're in a bland scene environment, let's say you're in a room, it's a conference room, and everything is kind of the same temperature. The color palette is going to assign colors to different things. It's going to pick up minute differences in colors, in, in temperatures, from one item to the next that's in that room. So you're going to be able to tell where the outlets are, or where the studs are on a wall, or things like that. That's what the color palettes are going to help with. Some of them are going to help you with egress. Let's say, you, let's say you're trying to find your way out of a building, and it's so hot in there that the temperature's kind of made everything one uniform color, or looks the same if you're in a standard black and white grayscale screen. You activate the color palettes, you're now going to have colors where you didn't have colors before. It's going to help you to get out of the building, get you out of harm's way. So as you can see, we have a full array of cameras, and they actually go from a low-cost alternative all the way up to a high-cost alternative, higher-priced alternative with features, bells and whistles. They're going to help you more effectively do your job. These are used for law enforcement agencies, police, border patrol, any of those are going to be able to use these cameras to find who they need to find in a timely manner. Obviously for structural firefighting, each camera offers a little bit of different difference in features. They're all going to operate the same though. Big green button turns you on, batteries located the same, 
They all use the same array of accessories. That is our line of evolution thermal imaging cameras, the 5600, the 5200, the 5200 HD, and the 5800. For any more information you'd like, more specifications on these cameras, please visit our website. Be able to get any information you want. Call into MSA customer service. Get this camera into your hands and give it a try. You're going to want it. All right. Thanks for tuning in to MSA TV. I appreciate your time. We'll see you again with another episode soon.